So that covers these. Now, the next one is web forms. But we don't do web forms in this class because it could be a completely separate class. Let me give you a visual of what a web form is. How would I uh, go and view all of the list of web forms from this screen that I'm on right now? OK, great. So I do go to my, my workbench. And remember, a web form is a content type. Yep. So I'm just going to delete all this content, and I'll choose web form as my type. And I'll say any for published. And this is going to bring up some examples that I just want to display for you in terms of what a web form is. This one is particularly one that is useful for us in training. So this is what a web form is. It allows users to enter in information on a web form with fields, submit it, and it's received by whoever is listed on the email for the submission. There are different types of fields that you can use that aren't displayed here. Radio buttons, um, the drop down is listed, you have comment boxes. So in the guide, because this could be a totally different class, we have all of those fields explained. Every definition that you go through in, in the content page itself for a web form is going to be in the guide. I would say maybe a quarter of this guide is the web form section. So we don't go through that because the class is already long enough. Um, Tina, did you want to add anything about web forms? She's a really good resource, so definitely find her at 1700 if you need or have questions on web forms. The results can uh, display in an Excel sh sheet if you would like, and then you can format that, e that Excel sheet. Um, also, just a basic uh, C uh, CSV, yeah. Yeah, CSV file. So if you do any exporting, that's definitely available. OK? If you have troubles or questions about the web form section, give us a call. But Every field in the web form that you use in Web 1 or can use has its definition in the guide. So it's really a comprehensive guide for the web form. If you use, like, for an RSVP kind of thing, if you have an event, um, and then you want to vote to RSVP. It could, but that would mean that RSVP is open to the world. So that might not be the best use for an RSVP, but it certainly could be.